What's up everybody? One of the top questions we get asked when clients are getting ready to wire their homes is how do you wire your shades? Gonna answer that for you in this video right now. All right, so this is an interesting one. When we're looking at how we wire homes, so much of wiring the home, we can kind of just throw wire in and if we ever need it down the road, it'll work. It's pretty universal. So if you're getting Crestron or Savon or Control 4, or Sonos, Alexa, whatever, you can pretty much use the same wire for everything. So it gives us a lot of ability to be really aggressive when we're wiring a home. One of the few places where that's not the case is with shades. Every shade manufacturer has different requirements for how you wire up their shades. If you look at Draper Shades as an example, they have two different lines. And one line requires high voltage wiring. You have to have high voltage power to power them. And then you can either use low voltage or wireless for control. Then they have a second line of shades that are exclusively low voltage. So you use low voltage for power and you can use low voltage for control or wireless control, but the power is low voltage. To make it even more complicated, the low voltage requirements for Lutron are different than the low voltage requirements for Draper. So a recommendation on shades is it's always best if you can to find out in advance which shade manufacturer you plan to use, the specific models and lines that you're going to use, and then find out what their specifications are and wire accordingly. There's a lot of other nuances with shades, whether or not you're going to have coupled motors where one shade is powered and it's sort of sending the power onto the next shade that's coupled to it. You'd use this for something like French doors or big doors or huge bays of windows. Maybe you're going to do dual rollers where you have two sets of rollers at that location. Maybe you have pockets so that the shades are kind of hidden in the ceiling architecturally. All of these nuances change the way that we're gonna prep and wire the home. And they change some of what your builder and electrician have to do when they're prepping the home. So it's just best with shades to go and figure out in advance what you're doing. But if you're in a situation where that just doesn't work, you're not sure if it's gonna be in the budget, you're not sure if you want them, but you want some get out of jail card, here's our two recommendations to wire shades. First, there's a company called Ice Cable. They manufacture bulk wire and they have a cable in their line they call Lutron Wire. It's not from Lutron. Again, it's Ice Cable and they have a wire called Lutron Wire that is specifically for wiring Lutron shades. So it has what Lutron asks for inside of the jacket. So every time you run that wire to a window, it's prepped correctly for Lutron shades. The thing to remember is if you think you might do dual rollers, you've got to run that wire twice to each location, not once. If you're not running Lutron wire, our next best guess is to use one cat six and one sixteen two for every single window. If there's any possibility you're gonna do dual rollers at that location, then you should double up. You should do two cat six and two 16 two or a 16 four at that location. That's gonna give you the best chance of having the correct wiring in place with whatever manufacturer you choose and whatever shade line you choose for those windows. I mentioned this already, but it's important to hit on again. If you think there's any possibility of a dual roller, you need to double up. And on larger windows, you're gonna have to split those windows or those doorways in two. Real easy rule of thumb is if it's over 10 feet, you're gonna have to have two sets of shades. So you would wire two sets of shades, one on the end, one in the middle, or one on both ends. If it's a 30 foot window or doorway, you may have three or even four shade rollers. So even though you're looking at it as one opening, it's gonna have multiple shades there that you've got to wire for. The last question you may be asking yourself is, do you really need to wire for shades or can you just go wireless? When we first started in this game, we told everybody to just go wireless. We thought it was kind of a pain to wire shades and kind of useless and we could just do wireless later. And unless you had a shade that was really tall and hard to get to with a ladder to change batteries, it was just as easy to go wireless. We've learned and we wouldn't make that recommendation today. There's a lot of things going on with shades and we found that if you think there's any possibility of getting shades in the future, it's best to wire for those shades. Now you may conclude that you wanna go with wireless shades when you actually buy your shades and that's awesome. If you don't know yet, wire for those shades. The one thing to remember is that those wires are not easily concealed, especially if they're in the jam of the window. They're gonna come right out of the frame, the finishing, and they're gonna be there exposed, and you've gotta have a six to a 12 inch lead that's coming out of the wall. Now we've seen people try different things to try and manage that, make it look clean, put a blank faceplate on there, but in general, you're gonna see those wires until shades go in location, so just be aware of that. So if this video is helpful to you, we just launched a whole new series of videos. We actually have a new video we just launched on YouTube that goes over everything we think you 
you should wire in a home. We've also got a full course on Time U that takes you step by step through the process of wiring your own home and how to design the pre-wire for your home. If that's you and you're thinking about doing it yourself or you just want to have better confidence in what the person wiring your home is doing, there's a link in the description for Time U. Be sure to check that out. We'd love to see you there. And as always, we'd love it if you'd like, subscribe and share this with your friends.